So as you see on the page, what I've done is I've just outlined like um, the pluses and minuses of the system. Um, the minuses of the system are, are to me only this, that it's only a four channel mixing board. Um, that was a compromise as everything is, because if you're gonna be doing mobile production, you don't want 12 channels. Mm -hmm. You don't want a board that big. You don't want to be hauling around a board that size. That's why this this case is, you know, padded the way it is. Because this is, um, so far, it's very successfully mixing down, um, you know, a two microphone to three microphone setup that we've been doing on occasion. For you, what you'll be doing, you'll be in charge of basically a two microphone setup. Uh, interview subject and interviewee. Um, IMS will be in and will probably plug in a third outlet, which will be the podium mic for the introductory speaker. Um, and so what you want to do is think about this accordingly. Um, what I would do is just, you could do it in order of operations, engineers. Uh, you could have intro on channel one. Mm -hmm. So ask IMS to put the podium mic in there. There's reasons why you want that podium mic in there because you want them in the mix, um, but that won't be our equipment. And if it gets to, if this introductory thing flubs with IMS, then everything will be our equipment from now on. That's all. I just. Is it just a microphone? It's just a podium mic. So I don't have podium mic. So. Can we turn off that music? Back here, right now. Just because if I I upload this and anyone tries to post yeah, it. The, it is that's copyright infringement. Where are you posting it to? Where Ro are Robert, I it? think you're gonna be okay. Wow. <laughs> they are not at the I'm with it. Oh, if it's on course, I don't think gonna, just cause I don't think Or I could email it to you guys. I'm like doing recording forty seconds of us talking. No, I'm gonna bring uh, a cardio, which is what you want for that uh for the podium, I'll just bring a cardio and, and okay. for the cable, just in case. Just, I'll, I'll, okay, I'll, leave, I'll leave them to the to, to May their. May we have extras? But this is um, this is what 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 do you what do you do for Oh, I'm just I don't I don't know. Cardioid why. mics is the the kinds. Of, he, it's he's the one with the hard shape. shape. Yeah, when he says that, Lord that clues right. me in to let me know that he's bringing a quality microphone to the event. Not he's he, he's he didn't say Radio Shack cardioid. Thank you. Right. But maybe that's what he brings in. So I would do a system where you put podium, the intro mic on, on channel one, so that mixes in. Then put your interviewer, mm -hmm. the Terry Gross Ira Glass, on track two. And then I would put the interviewee on track three. Um, and I think we're fine unless uh, we need a traveling mic. I need to go through here real quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Travel mic for the whole series, as far as like the audience. I feel, yeah, I feel like. Obviously, audience, you something. could go in and like ask, go so to the she audience. Said the interviewer on track two. Interviewee on track three. E on track three. Yeah. Okay. How would you set up the wireless? Do you you, 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 you would set it up into track four. You would come out of the uh, wireless unit. Uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's an there's an there's an exterior um, outward. On track four, we could put up our yes. Shure microphones. These do work. So for uh, it's like for karaoke, huh? <laughs> um, I just need to put the XLR inputs in there. But um, these have, this has been tested and it does work. Um, so we could put the um, for audience. We can just have people come up to the microphone. And even if they're not going to be necessarily put, they might not get, I don't know how it'll work with their speakers. Okay. They might not get pushed out over the speakers, but we're in the Savannah Gallery. We're not going to be. The, little, the room that we did in last yeah. week? No, that's great. It's great. <coughs> you don't have to worry about whether the speakers are working or not. We like, really don't have to be dependent upon IMS for anything. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so, I, but. I, I, IMS. Instructional Media Services. Uh, I'm sorry about the jargon that uh, that meant those guys over there but we need them involved I think it's great that they'll give us backup and um, I'll just show you uh, you know what we don't need both microphones set up so let me take out this uh, this is an XLR input there we go 
you don't have to worry about whether you're kind with these things or not. You just have to get it done. Um, the XLR and goes into balanced out. You only need it for one mic if you only need one mic, right? You need two. We don't have enough for that. So you're going to share one mic. Test it out to see which one works. You have a mute button on this. Um, and then the power adapter has to be plugged in. You'll want to make sure if you're an engineer, um, put it on the checklist. I didn't put it on there to grab any and all of these power strips that you need. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but we're, we've got a four channel setup if we do it that way. Now, um, this is where things go get funny. Um, this Behringer, when we broadcast out the main mix, we're really, we're using a USB port. Okay. That's how we're getting this, that's how we're digitizing this. It's fabulous because it does it all, it does all that work for us. It, the, the Behringer was purchased because it was a USB out. And USB makes our, our project light um, in sound quality for the analog enthusiast. We are taking a lot of cool analog sound and compressing it. And so some analog purists uh, hate this. But this is a perfect setup for sending it out over the laptop. So the laptop, we have two because one person will be with the social media and they need to have the laptop. And one laptop is just not going to be messed with. <laughs> and that's going to be the laptop with the software. And this is not the laptop with the software. I grabbed the wrong one. So on Tuesday we, should, we will come here uh, uh, well, whenever the event is earlier to set, set up. Yep, okay. the room is completely reserved. And everything's at 6 o'clock, right? Event starts. So it's like the event starts. When do we have? Uh, when does our start for the re was the reservation? Four o'clock. All of these. So we can be there like four thirty-five to start setting things up. Yep. Be there. Yep. Be there. Be square. All right. <coughs> this is our setup for sports. Um. Could you help me make sure? I don't think I have battery power on this. Else I will do battery. Let's see. You always want to have this plugged in. No matter what. Um, um, yeah, it's starting out. Do you want to plug it up? Yeah, go ahead. Thanks, <coughs> Todd. I appreciate that. Um, I need to plug in this board, and I have a short cord, and I have way too much stuff on here. Let me clear this out because there's go. too many confusing elements for your video. Here we go. Awesome. Bring it out of center. Um, these pieces. I'll have this set up. So that everything will be in here, and elements that you do not need will not be here. Oh. See what I'm saying? Everything will already be like wrapped up, ready to go. But it not. won't be set up. Yeah. <coughs> That's why this moment is important. Will there be enough seats for everyone? Yeah, there should be 40 seats in there. Oh my God, where are we going to meet? We're Savannah Gallery. Oh, Savannah oh Gallery. okay. 40 seats, which is nice because it's not too big. Okay, are you guys watching where this goes? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Hold on. We've got a power cord. You need to remember that. So USB is here. And power cord is here. Is there, is there another port for, for USB? Yeah, it's just, the this is the only one. Okay. It's it's taking four channels USB. and it's mixing it down into a power. flattened, you know, digitized MP3 mix. We use freeware. <laughs> so when we start this up, oh, Sierra, see if you can safely come over here for a second. I, um, just to make life less complicated, I just tape the password and ID here. Mm -hmm. um, control Alt Delete WIUN. This is WIUN Radio. We have one, a few little tweaks to make. An engineer is in charge of this little tweak as well once it comes up. I have it saved on sports setup. Um, you're gonna have to do just a few little more things than what the sports people do. And I'll explain that as soon as this welcome thing goes. I am going to try to hook this up while that sets up or um, at least start it. Um, 
Yeah. So, um, this is the software. It says but. <laughs> I guess it's broadcast using this tool. But you're going to be so shocked at how simple this is. But software to do this is simple. <coughs> What this is, is this uses um, passwords to get us to um, a server in Bloomington. Uh, to find out the passwords and everything, we have most things on a preset um, plan on w.iun sports, but we're going to have to make a few changes. Um, so, well, come on, don't freak out on me, computer. Uh, the bitrate for the stream is 256k, that just means a lot of sound. We're going out as uh, stereo, 